The next thing we're going to look at is replacing Portland cement with supplementary cementitious materials. So for every tonne of cement replaced with another product, we save 0.9 tonnes of CO2. So some of the benefits of using supplementary cementitious materials include reduce embodied energy and CO2 emissions, reduce materials to landfill, um, reduce the impact of the extra raw materials that would otherwise be extracted from the earth, and improve the durability and thus also the service life. But one of the biggest problems with replacing Portland cement with supplementary cementitious materials that we'll cover is that the curing time of the concrete actually increases um, and this will sometimes affect the program of the project. So the main goal when replacing Portland cement with supplementary cementitious materials is you need to specify the concrete with still the required strength, durability and workability. So for strength, this is probably the most well-known property for most people. It depends on the water to binder ratio. So the binder is this, the cement plus the other materials that make the paste. So for a smaller water to binder ratio, so that means less water, you're gonna have greater strength. But if the ratio is too low, you need it to be workable. So you, you might need to introduce super plasticizers to ensure that the cement is hydrated enough to be able to maneuver around. The second important property we need to look at is durability. So in this case, if you've got too much free water in the concrete and there's a lot of slump and highly workable, then you can have a lot of unwanted voids as the water evaporates and leaves more gaps in the concrete. And then this leads to shrinkage cracks or drying cracks over time, which allows the weather to get inside and then damage the reinforcement inside the concrete. The third thing we need to look at is workability. So this is the ability to successfully place and pump the concrete around. So if you again, if you look at something like the Burj Khalifa, it's absolutely amazing. They were able to pump uh, concrete from the ground up, up 800 meters high into the air. So this is another really important property, especially in high rise buildings. So the increased water means increased slump, and then that means the looser the mix and the easier it is to fit around. If the slump is too high, and then the loose of it, and it's a very loose mix, that means some of the aggregate that is heavier will fall to the bottom, and you're not gonna have a consistent integrity in the concrete. So this is also very important. 